Okay, look. Those two ask their lady there if they can take a picture. Let's go and uh, get them a picture. Let's, let's make the day, guys. We need somebody by this fountain. <laughs> What is that? Not impressed you guys. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Lightroom mobile tutorial. So I was planning on doing this for a long time and the reason I didn't is because I'm waiting for a mic to be repaired. So I send this mic away and of course I live in Spain. They keep on telling me it's going to be another week, another week. It's been two months already. Then they told me that they would send me somebody else's mic if I preferred, if I really need it. Somebody else's whose mic isn't as broken as mine. <laughs> like guys, I want a new mic. I don't want a broken one. Anyway, so I can't wait anymore. I would rather get this video up for you guys so here we are in Lightroom mobile and you guys seem to really like the pictures that I took in Warsaw some of the shots I did a poll on Instagram and you said yes Brad edit these so I'm gonna be editing some of my Warsaw edits for you guys I love these pictures so much and I love the collection that we got so the first one we're gonna do is the tram this app is great it is amazing so the first thing we're gonna do we are gonna come here down the bottom i'll show you guys what this is masking what you can do with this if you hit this plus this amazing new update that they did in lightroom a few months back now you can select the subject and you can select the sky so we're going to select the sky once you have the sky you can click on sky and all of the options that you have down the bottom here you can use these so you can come down here for light you can move the exposure so up and down so I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit so you can see the buildings, maybe the highlights. And you can see if you move the black, then we're not gonna be messing with the sky, but the buildings go down a little bit. So that's good for me. So I'm gonna leave that where it is. We can select the new mask and we can do brush. So I'm gonna zoom in here. If you wanna go back, there is this backspace up here, undo. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to do brush, adjust the brush, and we are going to make this window frosty. You guys, I'm going back to Warsaw in two days. So I'm probably already in Warsaw now by the time that I've uploaded this video. Okay, next we're going to come down here to effects. And we're going to smash this clarity and look at it straight away. So I want, I'm going to go crazy on the clarity. Oh, look at this guy's face. <laughs> okay, that's it. If you want to do before and after at any time, you can just hold this screen and you can see before and after with the work that you did. So I'm loving that. It looks super icy already and you can see the difference in the sky. One more adjustment I'm going to make as well. I'm going to add a new brush. We're going to go over these numbers. It doesn't need to be too perfect. And then I'm going to do the clarity again. So by bumping the clarity up, it just makes the numbers stand up. Maybe I'll do it over there too on the lights. Okay, and the last thing, I'm going to come down. Oh, take that away. Just make it smaller. So the best thing about this is you guys can be traveling. You can be on the metro. And while you're bored, you can just edit your pictures and get them ready. So this one, I'm going to go to the color and because we already have the lights. So here you can make it cooler or you can make it warmer. So I'm going to make it warmer here because we already have these lights. Okay, so next one, I'm going to come down here. We have all of the options that you guys can choose from in slide. So I'm going to come here to light and we're going to bring the shadows down just a little bit because I want to make it a bit darker. So I won't do too much with the sliders because I'm going to do most of the work here with the curve. So with the curve, let's start with with the highlights and shadows. So this one, I'm just going to go for the classic. Maybe a little bit. Green just a little bit. So all of my snow edits I found while I was using this green, it looked insane. And I'm going to leave it like that. Done. So maybe bring the whites up just a tiny bit. Okay, already let's hit before and after you guys. Already so much better. 
Okay, the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna come down here to color. So you guys can see it's so simple, but some of the tools you have in this are amazing. So if you come over here to mix, you can work with all of the colors individually. So I'm gonna come here to blue first and let's bring this blue down. Let me show you guys what it does. So it gives it more of an icy feel and we need icy. This day was freezing. So let's say about 40 is good. I'm going to bring the saturation up a little bit as well. So it looks even icier and let's bring the luminance up just a tiny bit. So this day was funny because every day before I went to Poland was freezing. It was snowing. I really wanted the snow when I went there. And then when I arrived, it was sunny. But we had one day and it was raining like this while raining snowing like this. And it was insane. We just ran out and got all of these shots within, I don't know, like an hour or something. Okay, perfect. Um, The next one I want to do is going to be, let's go here back to mix. And I'm going to do the orange. We're going to bring the orange. Let's bring it. All the way down. Give it a super dramatic look, you guys. 32. And I'm going to bring the saturation down as well. So it kind of has this classic vibe. And I think the last thing that I would do here with the color would be go to grading. And here in grading, you can work with shadows, midtones, and highlights. So these adjustments are really slight adjustments but first for the midtones i'm gonna give the midtones like a dark orange just a tiny bit and in highlights i'm gonna stay with this teal vibe and then maybe just bring the saturation up just a tiny bit on the overall color and vibrance down Okay, look at that guys, that's amazing. So this is before and this is after. Let me know what you guys think of this edo. Let's go and check out the next one. Okay guys, so let's go to our next picture. This one here of a good friend in Warsaw and you guys always comment on this picture every time I put it on my stories. So I made an effort to pick this one to be one of the ones to edit. So number one, I'm gonna come down here to light. And if you guys haven't already, um, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I also shoot a lot of strangers. <laughs> wow, that sounds really bad. But yeah, I take pictures of strangers. I have behind the scene shoots, photography, different styles around the world, self portraits, you name it. So we're gonna bring the exposure down a little bit and I'm gonna bring the shadows down as well say about 19 is good highlights i'm going to bring the highlights down a lot so you can see our little buddy there in the background is changing so highlights all the way down i'm going to say about 70 maybe blacks down just a tiny bit okay in the curve i'm going to bring the highlights up just a tiny bit a little bit here in the midtones and then I'm going to bring the shadows down. Next one for red. All I'm going to do for red is just bring this top down. It's really like such a small movement. I'm going to bring it down just a tiny bit. So same again, it was freezing you guys. So I'm going to give it an icy look. And as well, I found the green in this temperature worked well when it was up just a little bit. And same again, let's see before and after. Already such a big difference. Next, I'm gonna come here into color. And number one, let's come here to mix. Again, this is the part where we can work with the individual colors. Let's bring the hue down on orange. And I'll bring the luminance up as well. Same again, blue. I'm going to bring that hue all the way down so we can get more of that teal color. And next, I want to come back to this grading, what we did in the last picture. And same again, I'm going to come here into the midtones. Let's give it an orange. 
So really small adjustments here. Okay, and then in the highlights, because we have all of the bright colors here that we want to be this nice blue color again. Okay, and lastly, I will bring the saturation up just a tiny bit. I'll bring down the vibrance. Let's check before and after again. Such a huge difference. And, but I, this is how it looked in real life, you guys. Um, the last thing that I want to do as well before we finish up here, we're going to go back into mask, brush, and the same with what we did in some of the other areas. I want to do that here as well. So any of these parts that have lights, I want to just bring up the lights and also bring up the saturation. And you can do this as well. You can change the color. So I might make that, but no, I want red. So we're not going to do that, just so you know. And up here in the corner, we have some more lights here. So I'm going to do another mask in here. Same again, color. Saturation up a little bit. And let's bring the exposure up. Boom. Okay, and that's it, you guys. That is our final edit. Save to device. And that's it. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and drop me a like. I'm off to Warsaw very soon. Like I said, if I'm not there already now, so there's going to be a lot more content. Um, I'm going to be traveling around Europe as well on the way back. I will see you guys on the channel. I hope you guys are good when the sound is back. When my microphone is fixed and they don't offer me anybody's broken microphone, I will be appearing more on the channel again um, instead of just doing POV. So thank you guys. Love you all. Be good. Be happy. And I will see you guys on the next video.